What's up guys, welcome back to SourceFed. This is 20 Minutes or Less, I'm Elliot Morgan. And I'm Joe Beretta, temporarily filling in for Joe Beretta. So as it turns out, going into space is expensive. Dang it! With our current rocket system, it currently costs about $10,000 to go into space. Okay, I can work with that. For every 2.2 pounds. Dang it! But something might change in the distant future, Joe. When you're an emaciated, gray-haired grandpa, you might be able to hop on what's known as a magnetic levitation train, or maglev, as it were, to shoot your saggy butt straight into orbit. StarTram is a proposed launch system that would use magnetic levitation trains, a thousand-mile tunnel, and a superconducting cable to reach low Earth orbit. If this sounds ridiculous, don't worry. So did going to the moon. The technology for the StarTram already exists, and it would be a fraction of the cost of our current rocket system. Basically, maglev trains hover above their tracks and don't have to worry about friction. We're talking physics here, people. Theoretically, they can get up to the 20,000 miles per hour necessary for orbit. To safely accelerate humans to 20,000 miles an hour, you would need a crap ton of track, as well as a way to keep the train from exploding because of the air around it. While most of the 1,000 mile tubing is at sea level, the exit point would be 12 miles high, so the trip would look like this. I'm really glad we spent the money on this trip, honey. Yeah, it was a great idea. We're probably gonna... If 12 miles seems pretty steep to build something, the engineer have devised a way to use that same magnetic technology to suspend the track straight into space. The project will cost $60 billion and take about 20 years. If $60 billion sounds a little steep, consider the fact that it took almost three times that amount to get the space shuttle program off the ground. Also, once this bad boy tourist attraction is built, it would cost about $5,000 to go into space. And the engineers behind Maglev estimate that the accident rate would be about the same as major airliners. And if boosting America's tourism industry isn't reason enough to throw down $60 billion, maybe uh, saving the entire planet is worth it. As it stands right now, we have no form of defense when the asteroid with our name on it comes hurling at us. To defend against this kind of thing, we need a much more capable warning system with high velocity interceptors that are already positioned in orbit and ready to go the second there's a threat detected. We would need a system that could inject tons of mass into orbit quickly and effectively, and Maglev could do that. Boom, done, Earth saved. No big thing, couple magnets and some tubing, you got yourself the ultimate Earth defender, a human catapult. Plus, if it's only gonna cost me 5K to go to space, guess what? What, Joe? I'm going to space, kicking it. Oh, that looks fun. Kick That's it good. with me in space, right. Elliot. Oh, this is nice. It feels good, huh? Can't get much higher than space. So question time. This is one way scientists have figured out to get to space. What are some of your ideas? Leave a comment down below. Click the like and subscribe button and hit the annotation and go to sourcefed.com for the five stories of the day or anything that we've ever done. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Elliot Morgan. And we're kicking it in space. <laughs>